Barkley is limping a bit as he goes to the sideline here. When you have a guy like Saquon go down, you almost hear it in the crowd, you know, the ooh's and all, like, uh oh, like, what's going on? You know, Saquon's down, all that kind of stuff. And it's like Trace McSorley he just shuts that down immediately. McSorley, late blitz, down the middle, deep, Goblin, got it, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Penn State. He's going to find a way no matter what. And to go out and do it the very next play and almost just shut everyone up, like, we're all right. You know, we got this. You know, I got this. What does that tell you about a redshirt sophomore quarterback? It's his team. I just felt that I was letting the seniors down. I really wanted to play for those guys and wanted to finish that game off for them. In that moment, Trace said, we love you to death. We know you want to be out here. We want to fight for these guys, but we got you. One of the best things that I try and do well as a quarterback is lead as best as I can, making sure guys are on the same page, uh, whether it's communicating through a play or getting off to the sidelines. If there needs to be a play, trying to you know be a spark plug if I can, uh, not force anything. It's his special sauce that makes him such a good leader because a lot of that is the confidence that our coaching staff has in him brings out the best in him, and it brings out the best in everyone. Me and Trace kind of have a history. You know, he was committed to us when we were at our, our previous institution. And, you know, the school is important. We all know that. Kids should be committing to schools. But I think if you ask recruits all over the country, relationships comes down to people, comes down to trust. My flip from Vanderbilt to come here to Penn State was definitely Coach Franklin. And a big part of it was his belief in me as a quarterback. Trace McSorley does it himself. He's got those things that you can't really add up. He's not going to blow you away past an eyeball test, but he just has a very, very unique combination of skills and attributes that allows him to be successful. For my offensive line back in high school, my mom, she always wanted to give those guys a little extra credit, you know, whether it's cookies or cupcakes, donuts, um, a little extra treat for those guys. Trace and, and his mom, they, they get it. They understand the importance of uh, taking care of the offensive line, so home or away, they're going to get some type of treat. Oh, man! Dick and Doodle, salted caramel, and uh, oh. red velvet Elvis. <laughs> we get, like, snack at the hotel, so she just makes sure that, you know, the offensive line have a little something extra. So initially, my husband told me it was a bad idea because these college guys are too grown up for treats. So I reached out to, um, Brian Guy is dad, Tim, and I said, what do you think? And he said, big dudes love treats. It turns out I'm not that bright. Everything she get, it's always like gourmet this or gourmet that, and it's, it's all delicious. And sometimes I try and kind of sneak in to when we're having snack and be like, hey, what'd she make this time? And you know, most of the time, the offensive linemen have already eaten it. <laughs> I always try to sneak my way in there, man, with them, them old linemen, man, they're big dudes. You know? By the time I get to the box, they're, they're always empty every time. You know, those aren't the guys that get all the limelight with the, the media and you know, names aren't always in the paper, but uh, those are the most important guys, especially especially to her, those guys that are trying to protect for her son. Taking care of my boys. From Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, we welcome you to the 2016 Big Ten Championship game. Tonight, the Nittany Lions of Penn State, the Eastern Division champions, take on the Western Division champ, Wisconsin. Each team has taken an interesting road to get here. Penn State's won eight in a row, Wisconsin has won six in a row. It's been an incredible journey, but now you get to a championship game. There's been a lot of ancillary talk about playoffs. Tonight means a lot. We are we are Go Badgers! Woo! Oh, you're too bad! <laughs>
Said, 365 days ago, we've been out here, we've been grinding, trying to get to this spot, looking at everybody else. We want to be where they at. We're here now. Look at the stage. Why not leave it all out on the field today? Why not us? Why can't we win this? Big Ten Championship game in Indianapolis. For Wisconsin, Alex Hornibrook won't start. It's going to be Bart Houston. Wisconsin so far has owned the football game, especially in the trenches. They leave it 7 0. Off Clement trying to get root to the left edge. Gets there. 35 40, 45 50. Clement down the sideline to the 40. He's to the 30. Getting a block to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Corey Clement, 67 yards. Once they get the lead, they want to play keep away and they want to take that clock and they want to just ring it out. Penn State now needs to be the next team to score in this game. Back goes McSorley with some time. Delivers long and deep downfield for Kasicki in the end zone. Reaches up. He's there. He's got a touchdown. Penn State and the Nittany Lions respond. That is the play they needed, and Penn State finally gets on the scoreboard. Penn State has cut the Wisconsin lead in half. But now the Nittany Lions have the ball looking to tie. Snap trying to run it down inside the 20. It still is. It's scooped up by Ryan Conley. Touchdown, Wisconsin! What a turn of events here in Indianapolis. Penn State has lost the momentum. So now for Wisconsin, they are exactly in the spot they love to be in. They've got the lead, they've got their ground game, they've got their time of possession. Houston pulls back. He'll give it to Wilbur Wally. Running right. It's a block for Devil. Ogumba Wally into the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Dare Ogumba Wally from seven yards away. All the things that could go wrong have gone wrong here in the first half change some things here right now to get a touchdown here or something here before the end of the half. Back goes McSorley. Delivers far side. Black off breaks away to the 30. Far side 20. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown Penn State. Wisconsin leads at 28-14 but the Nittany Lions close the gap at the end of the half. Hey, you got a whole nother 30 minutes right here. A lot of things didn't go our way right there, and it's only 28-14. We've been way bigger holes than that. Hey, we got to tackle better. We got to fit hard and fast, right? Win your one-on-one -on -one battle. Penn State has lived by its work in the second half. After halftime, Penn State has outscored the opposition by 175 points. Uh-oh. He's got blocked all down the middle. He's got it at the 32. 
Far side, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Penn State. The Nittany Lions over the second half of the bang. And the game is on in Indianapolis. Now the Penn State defense, they've got this large Penn State contingent here behind them. And now they're going to make some play. Penn State shows blitz, they bring it. Here comes Bell, fumbles the football on the turf. Badgers pounce, which will allow them to punt. They got their momentum, you talked about at high speed. Penn State right now, they feel this hurry up offense is really putting Wisconsin back on their heels. Got it, 15 yard line out of bounds. First down, Penn State. Here's on the Barkley, left side, Saquon Barkley, touchdown, Penn State! The Nittany Lions have scored 21 unanswered points and have tied the Big Ten Championship game at 28 with 4.22 to play in the third quarter. So let's see what the Wisconsin offense can do. Well, this is about two words now, patience and execution. The Badgers have to find a way to execute consistently on this drive. Drops the throw, four-man rush, Hart's in trouble, steps up, shovels it, caught by Clement at the 40, right side, Corey 45, turns it up 50, 45, Corey to the 40, a gain of 26 yards. Houston will give him the Shaw straight ahead to the 30, to the 25, cuts right 20, Shaw inside the 15-yard line. Now Wisconsin on the doorstep of trying to take the lead. It's a 23-yard attempt right in the center of the field for Endicott. And the Badgers had the lead back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo. But now Penn State knows with a touchdown they can go in front for the first time. McSorley steps up in the pocket. Delivers deep downfield for Hamilton. Adjust. He's got it inside the 45 and down to the Wisconsin 42 yard line. So he takes it back. They run a blitz. Goes to the end zone. He's got Barkley. Touchdown, Penn State. The Sydney Lions took their first lead of the night. It is stunning the precision by which Penn State has dissected the defense. My goodness. It's what they do. 4.44 to go in the game. 38-31, Nittany Lions. Houston back to throw under pressure. Fires caught by PV. Right side, 35. Jazz to the 40. Houston back to throw. Blitz coming. Boyd throws. That's caught by Abu Mawali across midfield. Houston play action. Chased by Bowen. Dumps it off. Lemon. Juggles makes it catch 45-40. And at 40, clock running. The Badgers have a third down. Caught, but short of the mark. So this Big Ten championship game now comes down to a fourth and one at the Penn State 24-yard line. 64 seconds remaining. It's close. It's all spot. They're going to put it down. They're going to take a look, and they're going to measure. They're going to stretch it out. The Big it, Ten Championship lies it, on a measurement.
Congratulations to the Penn State Nittany Lions, the 2016 Big Ten champions. Do you deserve a spot in the college football playoff? We just won the toughest conference in college football. We've won nine straight. They say you're allowed to overcome early setbacks. We've done that. It's on you now, the committee.